morning guys welcome to my channel what it is what's up you know what it is it's almost 4 a.m so i just really don't even have the energy to be like no um it's thursday i have a client and i just thought i should vlog these few days in my life so that you guys can see what's happening in my life um nothing special if you are a new comer <laughs> on the channel please make sure to subscribe to the channel and press the ring so that every time when i post a new video you know what it's you know what it is okay <laughs> and if you are good at taking like a day one thank you so much for coming back and chilling in um don't forget to like comment on the video share the video do the most with it um yeah I'm so tired. I literally, I think I slept at 12, I think. And I have no idea why, because I normally sleep early. But yesterday, and then I feel like I just blinked. I literally like closed my eyes for two minutes and it was like 3 a.m. The alarm was just here. So yeah, I'm so tired, but we got to get the money, child get the money i'm probably gonna vlog if the person is comfortable i will vlog doing her makeup because it's a house call so she's gonna come and fetch me and i'm gonna go to her place and do the makeup so yeah see you on a fee okay guys i'm here at her house and i'm about to get started so <laughs> my breakfast now and then i'm gonna tell you <laughs> the story why i'm eating this for breakfast <clears throat> so wait <laughs> guys i hope you have i'm gonna do a whole video okay so i bought these yesterday right reason being um i I embarked on a journey. I'm actually on this diet. So I only eat in the morning and then I don't eat for the rest of the day. So I bought these because I was craving chicken, I mean sliders and chicken wings. Not necessarily chicken wings, I was just craving sliders because I've never had them. So I was just like, I want to buy sliders. And then I'm not really a fan of chicken digging. So I was just like, let me just buy sliders and then I'll save them and have them for breakfast. <laughs> Because I only eat breakfast. So it doesn't matter like what I eat. That's how I look at it. I'm not sure how other people look at it. But it doesn't matter what I eat. As long as I eat just breakfast. And then I don't eat it for, um, for the rest of the day. Okay. 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 So I thought I should tell you guys about. Um, it may believe. Yeah well. Because I feel like there's so many misconceptions about. How I actually got the Maybelline gig. Hmm. What is in here? Is this the cheddar cheese? That's the menu for dinner. When I bought this, he was like, Yo, yeah, Baba. And I was just like, Okay. He's like, Yeah, Baba. And I was like, Okay, Guti. Baga, ho. <laughs> okay. The Maybelline thing was a competition. Né? I saw the competition on Michelle's page and I was just like, guessing, let me enter the competition. And then, so the competition rules that you have to have the Fit Me foundation that I shot a picture with, Fit Me foundation, and then <clears throat> take the picture with the Fit Me foundation and then send it through. You know? So I was just like, okay, cool, that's so easy. 
I posted on my status if you guys remember people who are on my whatsapp if you guys remember I posted on my status and I said if you have this foundation please let me know and no one texted me sharp oh no after like some time Dineo texted me and um i texted her back like dude yeah i'm gonna come like with a full face speed on and then i'm gonna come to your house and then take a picture with the foundation and then send it through and she's like i'm not at home oh and and now knowing that was great for her not to be at home because child if you're gonna know that was great for not for her not to be at home but at the time, I was just like, oh my god, what am I going to do? And I was just like, As in, it's not meant to be. Fine, let me just leave the competition. And I saw it again on K Yam's story on Instagram. And I was just like, As in, let me just do this. So I saw it on a Friday. And then I went Saturday to our local mall to get my blame chips. <clears throat> So our local mall to get um what's this to get the foundation and then when i got there they don't have like a, the maybelline range and then i posted again in my status i was like if anyone is going to the other mall please let me know da 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 you know takes me again and she's like let's just go to the mall <laughs> Honestly, I'm not comfortable with mukbangs. Disclaimer: Maybe I would do them when I'm with someone, or maybe it's what I like at the time because because this is literally my first. Um. Okay, we go to the mall, we buy the foundation. Shop. I have the foundation now, and then. Now. So she buys a few things for herself. She bought actually a lot of things for herself, Nana, makeup wise. And then she plugs me on some things, you know? And then we have plastics. So yeah, I'm a plastic cool. This is a vaccine that's like good. And we exchange them a plastic. Sharp. And we have to go to Sunday because that was Saturday. We go to Sunday. Monday competition. Okay. I, I take the picture. Or oh, I do a full face beat. I take the picture, da 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 And then, yeah, I got a bit of competition, I enter the competition. I post the picture, I mean, I send the picture to them, they're like, oh, great picture, da 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 Are you a robot? No, this is you, da, yes. And then they, like, send the till slip. What? <laughs> send the till slip. I'm like, oh my god, that's so crazy. I'm thinking now, I'm gonna do no exchange plastic. Oh my god, what if you know good now? And like who saves Amatil sleeps, guys? Like over no tell my mother to my fear, give us some sleep off again move a tire. Like who does that? Oh, I was freaking out. I went to the kitchen. So when I got home, I put thing my things on the counter because I got home late because I went to see my friend after the mall. I went to see my friend. I was like, oh, no, all right, but I went to see her. And then I'll be a little guy. Then I'll be honest, we'll have a counter in the big game basis it up, even on the Sunday basis it up. So I go to the to the kitchen and then i look at the plastic and luckily thank god the toe slip is there and i'm just like mm -mm, look at god look at guys god did this honestly like nothing for me no praises for me god no joke i'm a praises to god god did this and then i sent the slip and then they're like okay we're still verifying it da, 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 da. thank you for the slip you've now entered the competition so the competition is two parts i won one part i'm not sure if i'm still gonna win the other one was crossed shop so that's how i got the maybelline thing i mean they sent me the package i did a lot of content for it and people loved it to a point they thought maybe they didn't jay if you and jim young woman no but i was like no that's not how it happened but i hope in the near future it does and i enjoyed doing those things mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah and oh and before that when i saw the um, what's this <clears throat> the competition on michaeli's story on that day i was going to buy my phone by the way i bought my phone myself 
I went to buy my phone and I told my brother, Oh, it's my spear, okay? So, take my phone. Basically, so shoot that is Tom, but it this game, the foundation, basically, I said. And I feel like that was God, like saying, because everything happened so fast. So, I'm really sorry, phone, phone, so I told, and then my brother had to go, had to come back this side in the east to do certain things for church so and he was like leading i think that project so he had to come back so we came back together and then we still went to the mall again and then we just took the phone and we left we didn't even do much and he also had i think a meeting after that so he had to leave so and jane was a meeting oh i i guess i'm not entering the competition and then i won <laughs> Who is the girl? I am the girl. I won the competition and I was so happy because I think I said it on my story that I prayed for this. I remember when I was doing nails for my birthday party and this lady who was doing my nails, she said that, you know, everything that you wish for, people normally say they happen at 21. And almost everything that I wished for happened at 21. I bought myself my phone i threw my birthday party and it was the way i wanted it like people still today tell me about the party because dude that was not a party that was a wedding and i'm just like guys that's the kind of life that i want to live i told this other friend of mine a good team my 21st birthday party is setting a tone for the rest of my life and if you feel like that's too much then you're not for me because that's the kind of life that i'm gonna live like the, those are the type of parties that i'm gonna throw child okay so i did that my party was a success i got everything that i wanted even the hair child i got everything that i wanted kudos to my family like they pulled everything off for me and they did that and they still tell me today because we did not do the party because you because it's in a sibonga way and we did the party because you wanted the party so i'm just like whatever so yeah that's that and okay i did the party i bought the phone I did the 21 beats for Shay thing. I um, got the Maybelline thing. I prayed for it, guys. I was just like, God, can it be one thing? Even if it's so small, even a mention. Like, I would have even thanked God for a mention. And I was looking at Revlon so bad to a point where God is just like, sometimes when you're looking at this place or these things, God just turns you into like a better direction. Good Revlon, I was not looking for much because I thought, you know, with my following and of my kind of content i don't think like it's gonna recognize me recognize me ganga you understand so i was just like maybe like a mention from revlon maybe i use the thing and then they mentioned me and i was just like yes, that's cool and god was just like no my child i'm gonna do something big for you okay relax sit down so yeah i prayed for that and god pulled through and one thing did not happen though i what like i planned when i was like we were young i was like at 21 i'm gonna graduate and You know life sometimes mm -hmm. so i'm not that's one thing that didn't happen which i just feel like i'm just really not focusing on that as of lately like i feel like i'm in a rut most of the time i feel like i have no pep like purpose or anything like that when it comes to school especially it just brings me down every time when i think about it but i'm just like you know what maybe that's not for me you never know and I tried to like bring the conversation with my family because maybe it's not for me and then I'm like I'm joking <laughs> but I uh, I think also one of the reasons why I wanted a relationship so badly this year was the fact that I felt like okay, school is not working out this is not working out I felt like everybody's graduating this year like one woman get graduates, one woman do is doing something, one woman do is finishing something, and I'm not even like I don't even know if I'm st what I'm starting or I'm finishing. Like I have no idea what's going on. So I felt like as in I want a relationship when I'm 21 because maybe it's gonna lead into marriage and 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 I'm gonna have something at least, you know. And when I'm your ass, are you? <laughs> When it is cause it's hamba, like I realized good see like I wanted a relationship for like wrong I even told my brother that I'm ready for love. Imagine imagine my brother. I'm supposed to be respecting that person. But I told him wouldn't And I did not even focus on that. Like I don't wanna lie to you guys. 
there's this short story that i'm gonna tell you that's not probably gonna be a short story it's probably gonna be a long story but i thought I'm, i was gonna be in a relationship with this person that i've always been in love with for so long and he spoke about it he was just like you know what this year i think we should do it da, 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 da. so he was visiting some relatives somewhere and he said when i come back Sizo, Sizo and then we see a way forward and i was so excited hey child so excited i'm just like oh finally have you ever wanted something so bad to a point where it doesn't matter when as long as you get it like it doesn't matter when and i felt like at that point you'll be saying then the guys can see the ah me waiting for a guy imagine so i had waiting for the guy for so long and he was just like guys let's do this and at my party i felt like okay after before my party we were supposed to speak and i mean we were supposed to talk and he said that I don't think we should talk anymore. I think we are fine where we are. I know she's like, <laughs> okay, okay, I'm good with you. Like nice ngawi, saying sharp ngawi. Like I'm not doing this anymore. And I told him, Mina, now we are friends. And he said, No, we're not friends. And I was just like, I'm your friend. I invited him to my party. I feel like I invited him to my party for a certain reason, which was a like a wrong reason because I expected him to do something for me. I expected him to be that guy come on like a party scene when there's like miss party and mr party but like mr party is subtle no one knows actually like that's mr party but everybody's suspecting it you understand it, and it was giving those vibes everybody was asking me about the guy dude the guy is here have you spoke to him and he even stayed until everybody left it was just me and my cousins and him and i was super grateful and i still am like i wish him nothing but the best but like you know i feel like it's time for me to move on it's just it's long overdue guys no it's long overdue like it's just, that chapter is closed done by shop i also prayed about that too guys and udineo told me like out of she said out of sight out of mind and guys nihamba no out of sight out of mind that i just feel like it's just not benefiting me in any way so the less i see you the less i think about you and i haven't seen him in a while i even deleted his numbers we still follow each other on, on instagram though but i feel like as time goes on i am gonna unfollow him but i wish him nothing but the best i'll always love him and i'll always have like a special he'll always have like a soft spot in my heart but i feel like he knew that and he took that like for granted and he took advantage of it and 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 it led it led us to where we are right now i think we're just very bad for each other we're good people honestly he's a great person but we just for each other we are bad people no. and i also blame myself too i don't put the blame on the guy i don't know what he was thinking i have no idea why we never dated but i feel like for me when i actually realized it he didn't love me as much as i loved him he loved me godly not in love with me you understand so and i it took time for me to actually like admit that to myself like dude this person doesn't love you move and i did that i moved and i wish him nothing but the best i hope he's happy with his life and whatever's happening blessings 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 <laughs> so yeah that's that and um what else you know oh another thing i left my church finally i don't also want to dwell upon it i just left my church guys end of story i always say end of story but then i talk about it more but i left my church i felt like it was just time i prayed about it as well and i feel like i started praying about my church last year because last year so many things happened that were just heartbreaking for me like missing missing limaza call lima limoyeni yo missing limaza guys got and i started praying about it and god confirmed it and i was just like bye deuces <laughs> deuces and then i met a lovely wonderful guy that i thought has been another fan of sizojola yay gubay house on fire and he has this like he has a great relationship with god he's a christian he plays the drums he has abs <laughs> how did i know he has abs first question is probably popping in your mind nothing happened nah uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. you know what happened he was taking his shirt off and he was outside and we were outside and i saw him that's that it's not that he we were in a corner somewhere in the dungeon and he did this and i was like oh, 
<laughs> no, no, no. He was taking his shirt off, and we were doing the concert together. And funny thing is that we would like talk about us having feelings for each other during the rehearsals but we would not really entertain them or rather i would not entertain them as much as he did until the end of the concert and then we actually spoke about it yes we admitted that we have feelings for each other but he has a girlfriend and i'm just like i'm just not gonna do that to another woman it has been done to me before and i was not even dating that guy so i can imagine how that's gonna feel if she is in love with you and and and, and i'm just like if we are gonna be together we eventually we will he's very funny i feel like that's what i like about him he's very funny and he's oh he's he's a child of god like he's just he's amazing but i guess it is what it is but i just guess i'm not lucky at that department rather i'm not even interested to be in a relationship like that i i see my friends so consumed in relationships and i don't want to be that person I have so much pressure upon my own life i already feel like 30 is next door or is next year i feel like i'm turning 30 next year i feel like i'm 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 turning old and i have nothing to show for it and i sorry i put so much pressure on myself wait Hey guys, if only it was again, there isn't the us we are filming a It's so cool, man. <laughs> I put so much pressure on myself, and guys, I'm full already. Oh my god, I waste food. I I I put so much pressure on myself, and yo guys, I'm yo yo. I feel like I'm in a rut, especially this year with school. Also, like school just made me look at certain things about my life that I was just like, oh, cause yeah, I'm why is this not working for me i just feel like it's just never had worked for me ever 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 so yeah i'm just sitting at home right now just doing my content thing i believe in my content thing so bad guys to a point where i feel like it's gonna make me a billionaire like i love doing it and i feel like you know if you're gonna work for the rest of your life why not do something that you love and when i was younger i thought i would um, i was gonna be a musician i think i still am gonna be one but i'm not as like super invested in it as i am into what i'm doing right now i like i want to run a business or other businesses i want to venture in other things i want to venture in land and building and this and that and this and that i just want to be a like a business mogul i want to be a business woman now and i want to focus on this and that and that so i just have so much pressure and i feel like time is just going and going and i look at people around me and they're just so relaxed i had a conversation with my brother the other day guys i know i always talk about my brother but yo <laughs> sometimes i watch my videos and every single moment i'm like my brother my brother my brother I, guys i love my brother he impacts my life so much like he's very like he's super smart yo like when you're having conversations with that man shame guys your life is gonna change honestly and he's a psychologist you should actually look or rather book his services <laughs> for someone i say book his services today <laughs> you should actually do that for yourself like yo i certainly he should be a life coach like so many things that i'm doing right now are are based on like the teachings or conversations that i had with my brother and i tell him all the time because dude you are so smart and he said i remember one day like i was even writing things that he was saying i write things that he says all the time like on my phone on the notes sometimes certain things that i post are things that he said to me so i was looking to him and i he told me that he doesn't see people in my life bringing value to my life and i feel like right now as i'm talking about my friends being super comfortable and just doing their own thing just really makes you look at life in a different way like you guys you are just so relaxed aren't you like uh, like even like a little bit bothered about your future <sighs> or maybe they don't talk about it maybe those are not the kind of conversations i have with my friends you know i don't know but i'm yo i i am just so goal driven I just want to be so successful and sometimes i think that kim when kim was 21 she was not doing anything so why am i putting so much pressure on myself but then i look at myself i'm not kim i'm not, i do not live in america i live in south africa i live in south africa you know sometimes i literally expect my posts to be like a michali 
I put so much pressure on my post. My mom says, every time when I post, my mom says, I get we're telephoning the whole thing because I really look at the engagement, how people are looking at my engagement. If I posted this picture, <clears throat> how many followers did I get? And how many likes did I get? Comments, shares, and people who are actually saving your post. I am so obsessed with being famous. It's probably going to kill me. I am just so obsessed with being famous and being successful. It's just probably going to kill me. I I am very self-aware and I am I, I tell myself like you are enough, you know, you don't have to be like someone else, but sometimes it just gets to you. You just want to be someone else today right now. It's like I want to be Michaela today. Tomorrow I want to be Kim Kardashian West. Simple that's me i, I just want to live i just want to live my life like that i just want to do those things and sometimes you need to look at your role models and their values as well because they would do things and you would want to do those things and you are or rather your values so are bigger aside because you follow these people you like their lives you do what they do this is why when i got to this influencing style type thing i said i'm gonna do it differently i'm gonna influence you to read the bible I'm going to influence you to pray. <laughs> I'm going to influence you to go to church, okay? I feel like I'm going to influence people to do so many positive things because I realize that we do exactly what these people do. Like, exactly. I was looking at this other girl that really likes me. She does exactly what I do. And I was so afraid that what if my life turns out to be this way and then she'll say her life is gonna be this way and that's too much pressure i was talking to siabong i'm not gonna say my brother anymore i was talking to siabong and i told him about this woman that i approached and i told her to be my mentor and she just declined it and she he said that like it's it, it's too much pressure to be someone's mentor because you it's like your life is on the limelight it's like this person is looking at you and they're doing they're copying every move and it's not like go to sabu Gucci, they're gonna outshine you anything no what you are doing is probably not good for them but good for you but because you are an influencer they will take whatever that you do every single thing everything so it's it, it, this this is really scary you need to watch what you say i was going to my other brother Sakita. he said he said you need to watch what you say because people follow you people like you people do what you do people talk like you people say things that you say so you need to watch what you say you need to read the news or rather watch the news read newspapers read magazines read articles know what you're saying and be sure it's facts what i'm saying is facts or rather what i'm saying is not gonna get me cancelled in the cancel culture or whatever he was just like you need to be careful with every single thing that you do and that's also too much pressure but it's like you put this on your life like you said you wanted to do this so you can't compare to us now telling us that we need to not do what you are doing because it's too much pressure on you you created this person i see myself as a brand i always tell my parents that i am a brand when probably my mom is like why do you use your own makeup yeah my client on you and i'm like i am a brand this is what i give out to people i put on makeup i look pretty i take pictures that's what i do i feel like that's why sometimes when i engage in other things like when i talk about my organization it's less engagement because this is what i present the most to people so if you don't show us that you're also a christian or other oh, oh cdc or you are a apostle or whatever if you don't show us that life but you show us more of this we'll take this and then when you show us this and you're just like so as for a manch in man so as shuma as our photo youtube channel when you were popping bottles go youtube channel when you were drinking shots with your lama king doing about truth or day who's who i was smash or what was i remember when i started my youtube channel this friend of mine was like never ever don't do smash or what was and i was just like i'm never gonna do that so yeah that's the word of the day and that's literally like a mini life update on where my life is at right now i'm really so content with my life i go to like on mini solo dates and i love going to the mall alone now oh it's so fulfilling <sighs> So yeah, if you are still watching, ah, well, no, <laughs> if you're still watching this vlog, 
I am going with you places. We are going places, my honey. We are going places, my child. Ah. But if you're still watching this vlog and you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Just subscribe. Just press the just press it. Just press the button. Press it. Press it. Like it doesn't cost you anything. Press the button and the notification bell and just get your girl over. Hi guys, morning. Um today is a Friday. Today is Friday, mom. Today's a Friday. I also have a client, Manji. More seven. I'm not sure what time it is, but I have a client. So I just thought I should just do like a little bit of intro and just say good morning. Good morning. Hi guys, I look horrible. My client just left and her face is bomb. Bomb, bomb, bomb. So what am I doing today? Oh, I'm gonna get ready because my friend and I are going out. You see, I'm just getting the wig laid, child. Cause I've been wearing it for like a few days now. So I say I put my glue. I'm getting it laid. I'm gonna do my face, but not something hectic. Oh, my hands are dirty. Hands of an artist, of course. Um, yeah, I'm going out with my friends. I'm not having breakfast because I eat once a day, so I'm gonna eat. Hi guys, we are at the mall with my friend. This is Tata. She made me wear heels. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Can I be in the video? I'm joking. Oh. <laughs> it's a vlog. It's actually a vlog. Don't you want to be in my vlog? <laughs> Welcome to the vlog. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's on my list. Oh, it's for 1.5. It's two pairs. Go there. Okay, guys, I couldn't find the shoe that I was looking for. If you know where I can find a Jordan 1 Nike, a black and white one, please Doesn't tell me in the comments. Please remind me not to wear heels and more like yeah. no, this is sabotaging <laughs> <right> now. <laughs> oh my god, the feet, the feet. I just not having it. The feet. But like she walks, she walks like she's having it. Like she walks like she has it. You know what I mean? Like I you know. Hey. Mina, people hey, can just see. Can you go there? I saw People are just looking at me and saying, Ooh, Agasaba Vizila. It's a pandemic, guys. There's a pandemic. It was not gonna go. It was like too pink. It was not gonna go. Guys, I'm feeling ashamed. I couldn't do it. I'm literally at pick and pay clothing right now to buy some shoes. So, guys, guess what? I bought the shoes. <laughs> Hi guys, we are at Piatto and we're about to have like drinks and then we'll probably go somewhere and have food. One thing I want to try with you is sushi. Kaja, have you ever had sushi? Yeah, a lot of times. Really? I want to try it with you. Oh, yeah, but we can buy just one platter and then we share it. I just want to try to shoot for the first time. Okay, guys. Woo! The lighting this side is doing the most. Ah! Okay, we just had lunch. Lunch is amazing. At I forgot the restaurant's name, whatever it is. Lots <laughs> yeah, something like that. It was great. Piato. Piato. <laughs> I think now we're almost on our way back home. We're probably gonna get donuts or coffee from Starbucks. Or literally anything from Starbucks. Yeah. Like milkshakes or something, if they have them. Yeah. They do have and then we're gonna buy. Didn't find my shoes, I'm still complaining about that. But Hi okay. guys. So I just got back home. My friend is at her place 
Um, yeah, we had so much fun. It was a great day. Honestly, I loved being going out. <laughs> I loved going out. So yeah. And so I see you on the next vlog. Bye, girls.